A point particle is an idealization of particles heavily used in physics. Its defining feature is that it lacks spatial extension. Being zero-dimensional, it does not take up space. A point particle is an appropriate representation of any object whose size, shape, and structure is irrelevant in a given context. For example, from far enough away, an object of any shape will look and behave as a point-like object. In the theory of gravity, physicists often discuss a point mass, meaning a point particle with a non-zero mass and no other properties or structure. Likewise, in electromagnetism, physicists discuss a point charge, a point particle with a non-zero charge. Sometimes, due to specific combinations of properties, extended objects behave as point-like even in their immediate vicinity. For example, spherical objects interacting in three-dimensional space whose interactions are described by the inverse square law behave in such a way as if all their matter were concentrated in their centers of mass. In Newtonian gravitation and classical electromagnetism, for example, the respective fields outside of a spherical object are identical to those of a point particle of equal charge mass located at the center of the sphere. In quantum mechanics, the concept of a point particle is complicated by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, because even an elementary particle, with no internal structure, occupies a non-zero volume. For example, the atomic orbit of an electron in the hydrogen atom occupies a volume of tilde 10 minus 30 cubic meters. There is nevertheless a distinction between elementary particles such as electrons or quarks, which have no known internal structure, versus composite particles such as protons, which do have internal structure. A proton is made of three quarks. Elementary particles are sometimes called point particles, but this is in a different sense than discussed above. For more details see elementary particle, point mass. Point mass is the concept of either matter that is infinitely small, or an object which can be thought of as infinitely small. In terms of size this concept is similar to that of point particles. However unlike point particles, point mass can only apply to an object that is infinitely small. Application physics A common use for point mass lies in the analysis of the gravitational fields. When analyzing the gravitational forces in a system, it becomes impossible to account for every unit of mass individually. However, a spherically symmetric body affects external objects gravitationally as if all of its mass were concentrated at its center. Mathematics A point mass in statistics is a discontinuous segment in a probability distribution. To calculate such point mass, an integration is carried out over the entire range of the random variable. On the probability distribution of the continuous part, after equating this integral to 1, the point mass can be found by further calculation. Point charge. A point charge is an idealized model of a particle which has an electric charge. A point charge is an electric charge at a mathematical point with no dimensions. The fundamental equation of electrostatics is Coulomb's law, which describes the electric force between two point charges. The electric field associated with a classical point charge increases to infinity as the distance from the point charge decreases towards zero making energy of point charge infinite. Earnshaw's theorem states that a collection of point charges cannot be maintained in an equilibrium configuration solely by the electrostatic interaction of the charges in quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, there is a distinction between an elementary particle and a composite particle. An elementary particle, such as an electron, quark, or photon, is a particle with no internal structure, whereas a composite particle, such as a proton or neutron, has an internal structure. However, neither elementary nor composite particles are spatially localized, because of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The particle wave packet always occupies a non-zero volume. For example, see atomic orbital. The electron is an elementary particle, but its quantum states form three-dimensional patterns. 
Nevertheless, there is good reason that an elementary particle is often called a point particle, even if a composite particle has a delocalized wave packet. The wave packet is in fact a quantum superposition of quantum states wherein the particle is exactly localized. This is not true for an elementary particle, which can never be represented as a superposition of exactly localized quantum states. It is in this sense that physicists can discuss the intrinsic size of a particle, the size of its internal structure, not the size of its wave packet. The size of an elementary particle, in this sense, is exactly zero. For example, for the electron, experimental evidence shows that the size of an electron is less than 10 minus 18 meters. This is consistent with the expected value of exactly zero.